G'day guys, and welcome to our lesson today on getting the most out of events as healthcare clinic owners. Now that COVID is over, we're back to in-person events. It's very exciting. There's a lot of information. There's a lot of excitement, but there can also be a lot of overwhelm coming out of it. Now, before I go any further, please do like and subscribe. It helps us to reach more people and to have a greater impact. Amazing. Thank you very much for doing that. I, I guarantee you did that, right? Now, when you are at events as a healthcare clinic owner, think of it like, like this, because and the reason I'm, I'm going through this today is we had our clinic mastery in-person event last week in Melbourne, over 320 amazing like-minded people in the same room. Absolutely incredible, incredible. Our biggest one to date, and hopefully next year it's gonna be even bigger. We're super excited. We, we love this, we love this. But one thing I did notice talking to quite a few people in the room was feeling overwhelmed with the information that was coming in, the, the new ideas, the new concepts, the new ways of doing things, the different ways of doing things. Okay. And wondering, should I be doing this? And well, I'm now I have to add this into my to-do list. And this one has to go in here as well. And where am I going to find all the time to do all of these things? And I agree there, there's only a limited amount of time in the day. And I'm sure as a healthcare clinic owner, you don't have, a huge, huge amount of time, okay? And so I'll keep this short, sharp, and shiny because I don't want to take up too much of your time, okay? Being very mindful of that here. You should be watching this on two times speed. You should be. Now, with that, what I helped people to do was actually to go and create two or three key questions or key problems they're working on. So what we did was we looked at their strategic plan and said, all right, these are the two or three key things that you've said that you need to achieve over the next 12 months in order to take you five, 10, 15 steps further towards your big picture vision, what you want your life to look like in three, five, 10, 15, 20 years. Okay, so we, we need to make sure that we're, we're not changing where we're going. We're not trying to change what we're aiming at unless we need to, right? So we, what we wanna do, because there's a million ways to be right. There's so many ways to be right. But instead of trying to take everything and create this huge to-do list, because all that does is stress you out. What we did was we wrote down, all right, these are the two key problems we're working on. And so for every speaker, we listened and we've said, well, how can I take this that they're talking through and run it through this filter of this challenge or this problem or this goal? And how can I then adapt it into what I'm doing? So rather than just taking the idea at face value and, and just adding things on, on the to-do list, what, what do we call more things than our to-do list? Stress, okay? So what we did is we then added them in, but we took it through that filter. And some things didn't get through the filter. Some things, no matter how hard we pushed through that filter, it just didn't fit. It just didn't fit with the strategic plan. And that's what it's going to come back to when you're going to these events. You're going to hear amazing speakers talking about really cool, really exciting ideas, really different ways of doing things. And they're going to be incredibly persuasive. But of course they are. They're, they're up there talking about it. They're probably getting paid to talk about these things. Okay, so keep in mind that they're not up there to tell you that the way you're doing it right now may be the best way. Okay, they're there to persuade you for how you could be doing it a different way. And that could be super useful if that's relevant to you and it's in line with your strategic goals. But it could also be completely irrelevant. And so keeping that in mind, run it through the filter of your strategic plan. And how you do that is pick one or two or even three key problems or challenges. And then everything you hear, how can that apply to this key challenge that I'm facing today? So before you go to any event, write down one, two, three, three max, key problems, key challenges, key goals you're looking to achieve. And every speaker, how does what this person is saying right now help me? to solve this problem or to achieve this goal. If you can do this effectively, the value from events, oh, it's going to skyrocket, my friend. It is going to go way up, right? But if you can't do it, I guarantee you're going to leave and you're going to get your phone out or whatever you take notes on. You're going to be scrolling through and you're going to go, wow, I have so much to do come Monday. I'm feeling stressed. I'm feeling anxious. And there's just all these things that I haven't done. And you're not going to feel fantastic. And you may not continue to go to events and get some of the amazing information that you get at them and the amazing connections that you're going to make too. 
So my friends, I hope this helped. Remember, one, two, three key problems or goals, run through the filter and enjoy the event network, meet some amazing people. And I hope to see you in the next video.